welcome to the Tuesday afternoon slash evening corporate training call. We are welcoming everybody who's joining in, just dialing up, connecting right now. We are pleased to hear from Mr. Joe Melling tonight. Uh, just to give you a little bit of background, a little not even history, because he would be too embarrassed if I did so. But Joe Melling is a proven commodity in the network marketing industry. Um, if I say he has decades of experience, you'll think he's old. He's not. He's younger than I am. A lot of people are younger than I am, which is also fine. But the bottom line is Mr. Joe Melling has the experience, the background, the proven results. Uh, I will embarrass him a little bit by saying that he and his team were among the fastest earners of the cruise this year. So Joe, I know you're there. I know you're live. I know you're ready to, to fire this up and share the things that you know, that you've practiced, that you've tried, that will bring people results. And these are the things that if you act on what Joe says, and you notes or, or pick up anything from what he's sharing with you today, these are the things that can affect your business. Now, you don't have to go on a cruise to be successful. Earning a cruise is a, a symbol of success. But I can promise you that Joe would tell you whether he was going on the cruise or not, he would still have done the activities that got him on the cruise because he knows that's what makes him successful in his business. So without embarrassing any for him any further, I will now let him embarrass himself. I'm teasing because that won't happen either. Joe is the man. So Joe Melling, welcome aboard. Thank you for sharing with us. And Joe, take it away. Hey, thank you so much, Dave, and thank you for hosting these calls every single week. I love being on them. I love being on them more on the other side where I get to hear and learn from the amazing members that we have in M all around the world. Uh, but I'll try and share with you tonight, and hopefully there's something I can say tonight that just one line or one phrase or one idea that can move your business forward. I uh, was blessed to have an uncle uh, when I was growing up that was a multi, multi-millionaire, owned several different businesses and had been phenomenally successful. And one of the things he taught me because I was sharing with him one day my frustration at some meetings and how boring they were to sit through. And he said, you need to change your attitude. He said, if you'll go to every meeting you go to with the intent of learning one phrase, one question, one idea. If you'll just take one idea away, then every single meeting you attend can be a massive success. So my wish and hope is that I can share just one idea or one phrase or one statement that you can turn around and use in building your business that will prove to be helpful in the coming days and weeks as you build your M Global business. Um, the major question to ask yourself on the job is not what am I getting here? The major question to ask is what am I becoming here? Because what you become is way more valuable than anything you will ever get. And of course I changed the wording a little bit, but that, that quote is from the late great Jim Rohn. And I truly believe that this profession has changed me as a person in ways that are are way more valuable to me than the income that I've derived from it. Now, of course, we all need to make money. And of course, we all want to make a lot of money. But really, it's who we become in the process that really matters and gives your life meaning. And if you will master the skill that we're going to be talking about briefly tonight, this one skill will change who you are more than any other skill that you're going to learn uh, in this profession. You know, Jim Rohn used to always say there are only a few disciplines to really becoming a master at anything in life. And this profession is no different. There are only a few skills that you have to master to truly uh, become, have a life changing income and truly become the type of person that everyone wants to be around, part of and be partnered with and be friends with. So the skill we're going to be talking about tonight is the skill of the fortune in the follow through. Now, a lot of people I've heard it said for years and years, the fortunes in the follow up. And the one problem I have with that statement is that follow up indicates really a one time event. And the fortune is not in the follow up. The fortune happens in the follow through. It's continuing to follow through with people over and over and over again until uh, you are able to help them reach a level of understanding and 
education where they are ready to make a decision and move forward in their business. So when we talk about follow through, there are two key keys to success that you need to keep in mind. The first key is to calendar every commitment that you make, especially with a prospect. And here is where this skill will have such a dramatic impact in every area of your life, your relationship with your spouse or significant other, your relationship with your children, your relationship with your friend. Because if you can truly master the skill of following through on every commitment that you make to somebody, you're going to become a person of influence, a person that everybody can rely on to get things done and to make things happen. And that will truly impact your entire life because you can't turn that on for M Global and off for your family or on for M Global and off for your friends. It will bleed into every area of your life. And this quote from Jim Rohn about asking yourself what you become, you will become so much more as a person because you've mastered the skill of following through. So the first key to success is develop a calendaring system. No, I don't care if you use, you know, your iPhone and iPad and iMac or any other computer system that you prefer to use, or if you use an old paper, you know, day timer or planner where you write everything down, or I've seen some people that are masters of managing their life with post-it notes. It doesn't matter the method that you use. It matters that you have one method, one go-to place where you go to look for any follow-up notes and details that you have on your prospect and people that you're working with. The second key to success is realizing that the sponsoring process is simply an exposure mindset. So your goal is to guide your prospect from exposure to exposure, utilizing your success team and putting the puzzle together for them. So the great late Steve Jobs said, Great things in business are never but done by one person. They're done by a team of people. So make sure as you're following through with people, as you're guiding your prospect down that path of education and understanding, that you are utilizing your success team every step of the way to assist you in building credibility and belief in your prospect. Through the whole process, our only goal is to provide education and understanding. Nelson Mandela once said, education is the most powerful weapon we can use to change the world. And we change the world here at M Global by bringing on one new member at a time. And the way to do that is take a prospect through an education and understanding process where I truly believe if people really understood and were educated about our products, our compound, what makes us different in the marketplace, and most importantly right now, the explosive growth that we are going through as we go into a momentum stage, there is no one that could tell us no or wouldn't want to be involved in this opportunity. The only reason people say no is they don't un fully understand what they are saying no to yet. So the great question we always get is, when should I follow up? When is the best time to follow up? And the number one answer is exactly when you said you would. And do it in exactly the way you said you would. So if you tell someone you'll send an email, send the email. If you tell someone you're gonna call them and get their feedback, call them. When should you call them? Exactly when you said you would. So it all starts with the invite process. If I'm sending someone a video, I'm going to ask them if they'll watch it. And when they say yes, I'm going to say, it's a 20-minute video. When do you think you'll have time to watch it for sure? If they say, I'll watch it tonight, then I'll respond with, so if I call you tomorrow at 10 o'clock, Richard, you will have seen it for sure by then, right? And when he says yes, then I'm going to put that in my calendar, follow up tomorrow at 10 o'clock. Now, the great thing we have with our Fast Builder app is we have a way to manage all of these follow-ups for you so they're at the tip of your fingers at any time. So I've screenshotted my phone. If you go into your app and you click on prospects, the middle option on the top row you'll see a screen pop up like this. Now in this case, I 
tapped on Dennis Ligon's name. So you'll notice he's gray, everyone else is white. And the reason I did that is so you can see this little expanded dot right here. Once I tap on Dennis's name, if I click on this little paper looking thing, it's gonna open up a screen like this where I can see all of Dennis's details. Everything I've done with him is gonna be in this history section. So you can see that on 4.30, I sent him the opportunity text message. You can see that one minute later, he clicked on the link in that message and visited my replicated opportunity website. You can see that on 6, 7 of 18 at 8.49 p.m., I had a three-way call with the prospect, okay? So your notes are all right here. Now, let's say I follow up with Dennis today to see if he, uh, re, you know, what he liked best about the website he visited or what he liked best about what he heard on that three-way call. I'm just gonna simply click this button right here that says add history. And you'll notice I have a whole bunch of options to make it real quick and easy. So I don't have to go in and type out, call Dennis, here's what he said. I can simply say emailed prospect. I check that, click that button and hit okay. And it will immediately then say that on 8, 7 of 18, at 4.15 p.m. Pacific, I uh, emailed the prospect. Okay, so all I have to do is click the radio button, click OK, and it's going to add that into my history. Now, anytime I send a prospect anything from the app, it's going to allow me to set a reminder. It's automatically, in fact, before it allows me to send that prospect a piece of data, it's going to require me to say, when do I want to follow up with them? In 24 hours, in three days, seven days, or no reminder. Always pick an option for a follow-up. Now, again, if, I'm, if I go back into Dennis's information and I click this edit button up here, let's say I set a follow-up for 24 hours and I try and call Dennis and his secretary tells me, you know what, he is out of the country for four days on a cruise. So I know I need to call him in five days. I'm gonna hit this edit button right here and it's gonna pop up a screen like this and you see that I have a follow-up set right here. Well, if I click on that follow-up, now I can set a new follow-up for four or five days from today. And then I can put in the notes, hey, make sure to ask about that awesome popsicle he was eating on Facebook. Or I could say, make sure to ask how his cruise was. Okay, so I can put notes from our current conversation today so that when I'm following up with him, I can remember every conversation we've had and what we talked about. When I'm working with a prospect, every call I have, I go into the notes section and I'll put some notes. Like if I was talking to a friend today and I found out, I just saw on Facebook today, a good friend of mine, their dog died. Well, I put some notes in under that prospect so that when I call them, I can remember to ask about their dog. The more personal you can become in your follow through and the more you can talk specifically about things going on in their lives, the better uh, the follow-up will go and the more receptive they will be to your message. So the next question is, we've talked about when to follow up. How do you follow up? How do you follow through with a prospect? I always ask essentially the same three questions. Question number one, did you watch the video? Did you try the stick? Did you read the email? Did you listen to the call? Did you go to the meeting I invited you to? Whatever you invite them to, open the conversation by letting them know, hey, I'm calling to follow through with you. Did you do what you said you would do? Question number two, if you sent them information, did the information make sense? Was it clear? So did you watch the video? Yes, I watched it. Did it make sense? Was the information clear? Or if you sent them product, did you try the sticks? Yes, I did. Which stick did you like the best? Okay, and then my third question is, if I sent them information, what did you like best about what you saw, about what you heard, about what you experienced, about who you met? Okay, what did you like best? Don't ask them, did you like it, if you sent them a video, because that opens up to to negative feedback. I want to tip the scales where I'm always getting positive feedback from a prospect. So if I send them a video, tell me what did you like best about what you heard? Okay, or if they tried the product 
and I asked, which stick did you like the best? Notice I didn't say, did you like them? Which one did you like the best? Then they'll pick one of the five. I like the sole the best. Well, tell me, did you like sole because of the taste or because of the effect you got from the product after you took it? Okay, ask those same three questions. Then you're going to simply give them more of what they like best. So if they say they love the taste, you're going to talk to them more about the taste. If they, you know, if they had a great experience with Go and they love the energy, then you're going to help figure out how to give them more. Well, are you ready to buy a box now or would you like to buy a five pack? What would be the next best step for you? Okay. If I send them a presentation, the 23 minute overview presentation, and they, I ask them, tell me what you like best about what you saw. If they say, wow, it sounds like there's a lot of money potential here, then I know they want more information about the opportunity. If they say, wow, that choreo stick, the video, that was amazing. Well, I know they want more information about the product. So they're going to direct what information I'm going to give them next based on how they answer the three questions that I asked during my follow through. If you think that you've done four or five or six exposures and they're just loving everything and you think it's time to close, then you can test the water by doing a trial close. And I do that by simply asking, let me ask you on a scale of one to 10, one being you have zero interest and 10 being you're ready to get started with MGlobal today, where would you say you are at? Now, if they say they are a seven or higher, then we move right into the close. And if you want to know exactly what questions I ask on the close, then uh, next Monday night, I'll, actually, I'll be on a cruise next Monday night, so I apologize. A week from Monday night, I'll be giving you exactly my closing sequence. But if they say less than a seven, then I say, well, listen, what would it, let, let's use an example, they say I'm a three. Obviously, they're not very interested. So I thought they were very interested, but I asked them that question. They say, you know what, I'm probably a three. Then I would say, okay, well, listen, let me, let me ask you, Dennis, what would it help to move you from a three to a five? I don't want to ask, what would it help to move you from a three to a 10? He doesn't want to be a 10. But if I say, what would it help to move you from a three to a five? Typically, I'll get an answer like, you know what, I really want to try the product, or I really want to try all the products, or I want to take them for a few days and see if I can really notice a difference, right? Most of the time, they're closer to a 10 than they want to say. They just, that question will help them feel committed. So they don't want to be that committed. So if they say, you know, trying the product, well, then great. I'm just going to figure out how to get them some product and move them on down the path. The same thing is true. If they're not ready to move to a close, then go back a step and just give them more of what they are liking. If somebody is not ready to move, they don't give you a seven to a 10, they're not ready to become a member, it simply means they don't have enough education and understanding. They don't see the full picture of what you and I see. So all we need to do is take a step back, leave the door open, and get them more information. Invite them to a meeting, have them come to a mixer, get them to try more product, invite them to be a customer, and just uh, order a box of products so they can see the benefits over the next month. And I promise you, if they stay in the process of education and understanding, sooner or later, the time will be right for them to actually join your business. Your whole goal, is how do I keep them in the exposure process until the timing matches up for them to join and for me to help them making the decision to move forward with their M Global business. So for your skill development work, right? How can we really perfect this skill of following through? Number one assignment I would give you or skill development work exercise is Set up reminders for all of your active prospects in your app. Make sure any prospect that you're working with, go send them a video or a PDF or some piece of material from the app so they show up as a prospect in your app. Once they are a prospect, set up a reminder. Go to your app today. If you have 10 or 15 or 30 people you've sent videos to, go through and schedule a reminder for every one of those people 
so that in your app, your phone's going to remind you, hey, you know what? Call Mavis today. Hey, call Paula today. Hey, Joe, call Tim today. And set those so that every day you're doing two to three follow-throughs with active prospects. Then number two, this week, focus on being your word. Anything you commit to do for anyone, for any reason, uh, calendar it in your calendaring system. Now, I use Go Recruit app, and as crazy as this sounds, Sarah, my wife, is actually a prospect in my Go Recruit app. And anytime she asks me to do something like, hey, next Tuesday, can you uh, go to the orthodontist with Caden, my son? And if I'm going to be in town and I commit to her that I'm going to do that, I set that up as a reminder right in my Go Recruit app. Why? Because I want to make sure I get notified that I have that appointment, that I committed to do it, and that I follow through and do that. If you start to calendar every single thing that you commit to do, then all of a sudden you're going to find that your relationships, the amount of stress in your relationships will go down, and you're going to have better relationships with your kids, with your spouse, with your M Global members, and most importantly in this scenario, with your prospects. Just be where you say you'll be, when you say you'll be there. And as you become the, become the type of person that people can depend on to follow through, you'll find more and more people want to join you in the business because they'll know that if you say, I'm gonna help you, that you're gonna do it because you've already proven to them through the follow-up process that you can be depended on and that they can count on you to be there when they need you and when you say you're going to be there to assist them in their business. So with that, thank you so much for taking some time with us. I apologize for the technical difficulties, but we are so blessed to have the amazing Dave Webb as our communications director, and I am a thousand percent confident he's going to clean this up and anyone watching on replay is going to go, wow, that's awesome that there were no technical difficulties in the replay <laughs> version. So thank you so much, Dave. Thanks for having me, and everyone have an awesome, awesome day. Thanks, Joe. Wow, everybody. Joe Melling, that is the, and I, I hate to say it this way because I don't want to take away the value, but that was a no-charge lesson, not just in building your business, but in helping your life. I take that in a very same way. I, I love how Joe ties it in so that it's not do this and grow your business so we all make money. That might be a byproduct. That might happen. That would be fine. Of course, that's our intent as a business as well. But if you look at the three-pronged approach of what makes M powerful, we talk about wellness and beauty, self-development, and opportunity. And they're listed in that order for a reason. We all need to feel our best so that we can behave our best and do our best activities. We want to develop ourselves, whether that's through a little bit of social engineering, by reaching out and touching someone in a certain way, being open to suggestions or I, I think it's, it's uh, how we help others become their best selves that also helps us. And so everything that Joe taught today, everything he shared, everything that we got to learn from him is something that we can apply to our business and to our lives. Now, he let us a little bit too much insight into using the Go Recruit app for managing his time. That tells me Joe is above and beyond everything else a recruiter, but he also values taking care of his responsibilities at home, and he's made the Go Recruit app work for him as a time manager. That's awesome. That's a great step because I know Joe, and I know him enough to say he is a great husband and father, and then he's a great business builder. And I would, I would, put my, I would tie my boat to his any time to wherever Joe is going because he will lead us in the right path and doing the right things and obviously with the right attitude. So it is 5.28 p.m. Mountain Time. We're thankful that you were with us on this call. We love our activity with our M members. From wherever you began, we are all M now. And it's so great to be a part of this big and growing and hopefully very happy family, knowing that we have even a bumpy road to get through, but it's going to be fantastic. And it's, it's through those little learning experiences that we become our best selves. So thanks everybody for your patience and for your hard work and your great efforts. And we look forward to talking with you again soon. Remember to tune in to the various calls throughout the week. Certainly Andy Willoughby's call, Kat Barnes' call on Saturday morning, the, uh, the uh, business building training with Dennis and Sue Ligon hosted every Saturday morning. That is the 11 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time, so 10 a.m. Central, 9 a.m. Mountain, 8 a.m. Pacific, and then everybody else gets to figure it out. I apologize for that. 
but we love uh, everything you're doing. Thanks, everybody. We appreciate it. Be well, and we'll talk to you again very soon. Bye-bye. Thank you.